Sometimes you feel like a nut. Hello, farmers. Welcome back to the Pacific Northwest. We're on our way to the sawmill because I got a load of wood in the back of the truck, obviously. You can probably also tell if you've been keeping track, our money is up, I want to say quite a bit, but it's up a little bit. We'll get to that in a second. Basically, I've been selling wood, lumber. Actually, I'm selling logs, I'm not selling lumber. They're making the lumber. But that's the one thing I didn't really notice about this map is that there's not actually an active sawmill to make pallets and stuff. Uh, a little disappointed in that, but that's not a big deal. I mean, I can always, you know, get the placeable sawmill and put it down somewhere and make pallets. But that's beside the point for today. So we this uh that lumber came from the forest itself. The rest of the lumber, I'll show you where that came from in a second. But our job today is kind of random and we're going to talk about where this farm is headed as well. As we zoom along here. We still got two fields to plant, but uh, the ground temperature is still only at 41 degrees, so we got like a day or two left before we can uh, plant our soybeans. I almost said canola. Yes, we gotta plant some soybeans. Uh, let's park this. We'll go on the back side of the cows. I'm, I'm am hoping at some point that we get a great demand for wool. Uh, either today or tomorrow. That's when the wool prices are the highest. If not, we'll just have to go sell our wool and uh, get what we can 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 get from them. And the traffic here, and I just got on the speed sign. The traffic here is so ruthless. Alright, so I can see where I'm backing this sucker up. Alright, she can stay there for a while. Oh, good. Right to the John Deere. So, yeah, I'm not in our fields. If we look at the map, we're, we're um, between 15, 16, and 17. The trees are gone from here. I've got to cut them down. Because we'll be buying these fields this summer this season in the summer these fields will be ours so yeah I took care of those trees so we can make this one nice field uh, I think these three fields in total will cost us 150 which we have now but why buy them now when I still need to fertilize them I just fertilized them once they had no fertilization on them whatsoever but now they only have one you know, I might as well get paid to fertilize their fields and not use my own fertilizer. Now, if we come up to our fields, yeah, I've been a little busy in between episodes. Uh, yeah, all the trees are gone in these four fields now as well. So that's where the extra cash came from. Yep, no trees here. So we'll be making this all one field this fall after harvest. Got all the stumps out. It was uh, time taking. <laughs> I'll just put it with that. With those trees, it's time taking. It was kind of nice. I just, before I started recording, I went out and I said, I want, I want to cut down some of those trees up in the forest and just have the auto loader load them up. I mean, I cut down like six trees and loaded them up within, I don't know, like five minutes. Got down five of those trees. It took me like an hour and a half to load them up. All that good stuff. So for now, I'm putting down the log grabber because I'm tired of 
loading up logs, although I was getting pretty darn good at it, I'll say that much. But we do need the John Deere down where the Volvo is. Uh, let me do this, lower that a little bit. There we go. And we can see the John Deere is getting low on fuel, so let's head on over to our little fuel depot. And fill up since we got a nice 2,000 gallons of diesel fuel in there. So what we're doing now is we're going to head down, down to where the Volvo is. We're going to put the sh shovel scoop on the front loader. I was just trying to think, is that down there? I hope it is. Uh, we also need to bring the trailer down with us, and we're going to load up with some grain as well, so we can make some seed. Now, also, talking about the... Well, not really, haven't said anything about the Seed Master yet, but... I did look into how to sell some liquid fertilizer... And artificial fertilizer and seed as well, in case we make too much. I was only able to find... Where is my trailer? Why do I feel like my trailer is down by the Volvo truck somewhere? <sighs> I'm telling you. Well, if it is... Okay, we do got some water. Since I'm going down, I don't want to go down empty-handed. As we can see, the sheep do need some water. So we'll top off the sheep as much as we can. Heck, I may top them off completely. Yep, losing track of my uh, my equipment, basically. I was also thinking maybe I should try bringing the Volvo up here with a tanker, see if I can get that big sucker in here and fill this fill this up manually. Yeah, 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 you guys are getting some water. Calm down. So, on our animals, actually, since that's filling up. So, you can see the cows up to 72%. We're up to 79 sheep. Uh, they're producing, well, they're reproducing one every nine and a half hours, give or take. Uh, we're getting enough, a lot of milk from the 20 cows already. Did you guys take it all? Yes, you did. Muzzle scoot over and give the chickens just a little bit of water that okay just a little bit of water that they can take it won't be much but it'll be something I have noticed for the chicken coop yeah I kind of placed it past the fence but in order to get that trigger to work kind of well you're just better off backing into it All right, so down to the lower part of the map. It's not a big deal. That I thought the trailer was up here. So I'll just fill up the trailer and we'll put some grain into it so our seed master can make some more seed. But it's no big deal. As long as the trailer is down there at this point. Because, <laughs> oh uh, man, we need to make more power food for the moo cows. Down at our favorite drinking hole. Filling up our little trailer full of water. It's kind of getting to the point where this little guy is not... It's starting to push its limits to water for the cows and... Ah, oh, there's our trailer over there. To fulfill our sheep and chickens at the top as well. Hello ladies. How are we doing today? Uh, yeah, I know you want to drink a water. Well, okay, you'll just have to get run over. Not quite uh, what you expected to see a cow inside of a trailer, but, you know, it happens. 
All right, since we're here, we'll just top this off. So I do have to bring it back up and we'll top off the chickens and the, the sheep later on. Close the gate so the cows don't get out. Not like they're making a run for it. Pop that there. That's good. Our shovel is down here. Scoop, shovel, whatever you want to call it. Don't really need the Volvo to fill this up. John Deere is more than capable of hauling over there. It's all flat ground. There we go. Got to make sure cows are being well taken care of. Probably may need to wait sometimes in the back of this, but as long as I keep the bucket low until I get to the trailer, it should be just fine. As the trailer does a little dance for us. This will probably top off the trailer. Uh, okay, trailer. You you do you, I guess. I don't know what the heck that's all about. <laughs> uh, got a little mess on the ground there. Looks like she's full. I could bring this a little bit over with us, but we're just going to pop it in here for now. I have to come back clean up that mess from whatever that trailer was doing. It was doing a, a lot of dancing the entire time I was filling it. I probably should have sucked the tra tractor back up to it for a second and moved it. For a little bit of silage on the ground, that's a big mess. There we go. Alright, now let's head over to the uh, power food mixer. Now this should be able to take it all. I think the capacity is 55,000 liters on this thing. With all of our equipment starting to pile up in here. Take it all. Yeah, it says 55,000 liters actually on the power mix, uh, power food mixer. I never saw that before, actually. Might as well dump what's in the bucket in there as well. There, that'll fire up at some point. Since we are here and it's been a couple
couple days. Let me just check the cows here. Power food, 12, or excuse me, 2,000. They could use some power food. Now I think I, whoops, I think I kind of figured out that uh, 12,000, I think it was 12,000 would fill them up. If I could back up underneath the trigger, that'd be great. But since they already got some in there, I'm going to take just about like nine. Close enough. Gotta keep the moo cows happy. You know, they're they're gonna be kinda like the money makers, along with the sheep, obviously, on this map. The sheep with the wool, the cows with the milk, and obviously with the manure and liquid slurry that they produce with our bioprocessing plant. It all comes together. You guys should take all that, I think. Oh yeah, I'll just about tops them off. So the cows are good for a couple days. The sheep, uh, looks like with their water, they're pretty good for a couple days. Now let's head back to the seed master because there is seed in there. I want to I am going to bring that back up to the top. But I really don't have that much grain to bring back down here. I have, uh, I want to say, slim pickings at the moment. I don't even bother looking for traffic. I just pull out now and say the heck with it. If traffic wants to, uh, hey, hey, don't, don't enter a Volvo. Let's squeeze in back here. Yeah, just a little bit of seed. So what does this... I think it will tell us here if I put this on. Uh, let's see here. Does it say which... This says grain. But it doesn't say what kind of grain it can take. I don't really remember what kind of grain it can take. Obviously wheat and barley are the two main ones I think it should be able to take. Uh, let's see this way. Yeah, you can see the price of wool. 8000 is not a bad price, but this time of the year it's not really that great. Uh, I do have some wheat left and barley, but I'm trying to save that for the chickens. I mean, corn isn't that bad, bad of a thing to... Uh, yeah, corn is something we could do, but I, don't, I really don't think we need seed for this year. The three fields that I want to buy are already planted. We just have two fields of seed ourselves. And really, for the amount of seed I think we got up there and what we got back here should be more than enough. Actually, before I forget, I need to drop this bucket off down here because I don't need the bucket up on top. So I'm going to drop this bucket off and I'll meet you up at the top and see where we stand at this point. It took a while to get up the hill, but the John Deere finally made it up. Slowed down to 11 miles an hour. But you can see we got, we do have uh, 2200 seed and what we're going to give here, you know, more than enough for the season. And just like that. Alright, so we're going to park this back where it should be. That's why I kind of said like last episode that start, you know, I'm starting to think about maybe we need another trailer, one for up here, one for down there, but I can see what happened. I got it. Oh, no, I didn't want that. I want that. 
Um, since we got most of our seed up here, I'll be bringing it down there and basically I'm transferring stuff back and forth from top to bottom since it seems like I never have the trailer where I need it. Not that big of an issue, but... Also on the way up here, I realized that might be time to give the John Deere a good wash. The windows are getting kind of greasy and muddy. There's that. Make sure we get the front loader as well. There we go. Now of all things, I want to hook up the stump grinder. Not quite lined up with it, I guess. There we go. And now I'm going to meet you up at the forest area. So I'll see you in a quick second. And we've made it to the forest area with no mishap to the AI traffic. But what we need to do is I need to start cleaning up some of these stumps. So let's turn that on. Because maybe in the next episode we'll be buying the planter. Which I did check before I started recording is like is like twenty-two grand. And we kinda need to start maybe think about plant replanting up here just a little bit, because it does take five years for trees to grow full uh, to its fullness. Now I've had some issues with some trees up here. Not that big of a deal. We'll see, you'll see what I mean in a second. I haven't quite run into this problem before, but there's some trees that you can't cut low to the ground. stump all right all right that one doesn't want to be cut So usually you can see the way I cut trees is I, I cut them off below the ground like that. And there's some trees where the lowest point I could cut is like way up here. Alright, that was easier to cut than I thought. So let me get working on this. I'll bring it back when I'm just about finishing up. down to our last couple of stumps uh, there it is yeah so hopefully maybe in the next episode we may start doing some planting because like I said it does take five years I believe in seasons Got a piece of wood in there. Got a piece of wood right here. Takes about five seasons for the trees to fully grow. Can I chop you up? 
right there. Now, where was this other one? That didn't seem to want to disappear. See if we can get rid of that one. Yeah, I turned the lights on because it was starting to get a little bit dark in here. Not too bad. Oh, there we go. Sometimes you just gotta get the right angle to get those things out for some reason. How much? Uh, just let me just save the game here. I know I got auto save, but sometimes I save it just to make sure. No, it's not the button I want. In the future, how much does this actually the three hundred seventeen thousand? All right, it's not too bad. I mean, that's like uh, six six loads of wood out of here, which is not too bad. I used to use this on uh, FS15 Bjornhorm. Man, that was... Uh, <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, I'll take this any day. Especially for the price difference as well. Alright, we can turn the lights off. I think I'll leave that here just for now. And I'm not sure if we can do this or not, but... We're going to try. And we're going to try to go up and... Because I can't remember when I did it, but we're going to try to put our final fertilization stage on our four fields up here in the corner. I'd like to get the, that done for those four fields of snow that they're done. So let's see if I can put another fertilization stage on these fields or not. Well, I know I can at some point, just, you know, can I do it now is the question. I think so, because the way the soil looks, it looks kind of, it kind of looks like a light brownish color. And yes, we can. So these four fields should be all set until they're ready for harvest. Sometime in the fall. Trust me, it won't be too long. Let me get uh, cracking on these four fields and I'll see you in a second and we'll finish the fields up and we'll finish the episode as well. So, like always, I'll see you in a second. Finishing up our last field. Had to go refill the fertilizer a couple of times actually. And it's getting hard to see where I've been because it's getting dark. So, <laughs> yeah, after we finish this little strip here, we'll head back to the farm, drop this off. Just take a quick check on the animals, make sure they're all good. Nothing worse than sleeping through the night and waking up and finding out some of your animals died because they didn't have food or water. Now, the Glance Mod will show us the chicken, uh, excuse me, the cows and the sheep, but not the chickens. First off, though, how do we do here? That is looking good. We just fertilized our grass field the, la the, the day before. So we have to wait a little bit until we can do that again. And then, of course, these two fields have not been seeded yet. We need the ground temperature to be around 55, and it's at 41. So hopefully in a day or two, that temperature skyrockets. And I got to keep an eye on those three fields that we're going to buy and try to fertilize them best I can. A lot of them are near the final growth stage, so but at least I got one stage of fertilization. I should be able to get two stages on them both. 
on all three, I should say. But we kind of took care of the cows today. Well, we took care of actually all of our animals. We, you know, gave the sheep some water. Went down to get the... Oops, nope, down, please. Thank you. Uh, took care of the cows' power food. Gave them some power food and got the, the mixer refilled so I can start making some more. Did some logging. while well, the logging was kind of done before... Whoops, don't want to leave the lights on. The logging was done just before I started recording the episode, but we went and uh, delivered the logs and we... You know, grinded up the uh, stumps, got it cleared out. So if we come over here, I just want to take a quick check on the on the chickens. Yeah, the water's okay and the food's okay for at least another day. 380 eggs in four days. 100 chickens. Not bad. Uh, but also if we come here with we'll us check on up to 80 sheep they're producing another pallet of wool and their foods are looking all good the one thing is are, are they in the last pallet or they got another pallet to go no they got another space for another pallet as well okay so they're fine uh, if only we can get a great demand on the wool. What's the wool looking like? Okay, it's starting to go back up. And let's see, if we go to seasons, wool. Now the price was kind of low today as we can see, but the next two days are usually the peak. Tomorrow is the peak, so what we'll have to do is, I'll have to keep an eye on the price of wool since it is going up and we'll see where it stops at. It'd be great if we get a great demand for it. Uh, you can see at one point it was almost I don't know if that's the peak at 12 grand that'd be fantastic we <laughs> we get lots of money that way but uh, yeah it's getting it's getting late it's time for this farmer to call it quits no I don't uh, want to have the auto fill this yet up here yet yeah, not yet not yet guys not yet maybe in the future but uh, that's gonna do it for today guys like always, I appreciate you watching. Hopefully you enjoyed the episode. And I'll see you next time on the Pacific Northwest. But until then, have a good one.